Liberty tomorrow. Jamie. Hi, Eric. Hi, Jamie. Um, that was Ronaldo's third goal of the season. Last year, we got 17 in the Premier League, I think 24 in total. Can he return those numbers again this season? Can he get 17, 18 Premier League goals and 20 plus? Or are those days over for him? It's up to him, but I think when you uh, collect all the chances uh, he creates, the team creates for him in the last um, in the last weeks uh, he was there, and you see he's still capable to get in the right positions, and I know he's capable to finish the, them. So it's possible, yeah. Uh, Rob, um, you had some good results against teams that the big sides that wanted to attack you, but when you've got a team like West Ham who, who may defend a little bit deeper. Um, do you think that your, your team are becoming used to that and, and are finding ways to, to break those times of the team down? Well, we, we have seen today, but obviously uh, Sunday there's a better quality. Uh, they defend even better. They are physical better, they are uh, technical better. So um, uh, that uh, that's going to be uh, going to be tough and we have to be really good on the ball, be really dynamic especially to find gaps. Uh, we are aware of that and then you have to be good because they have good counters and uh, so from there on it was a good warm-up but Sunday will be much more tougher. We are aware of that. Neil. <coughs> Does it follow that Cristiano still has to fight his way back into the Premier League team which is your really your first 11 rounds in the Europa League team? Uh, yeah, I, I know that um, that some uh, see like this, but I don't have a Europe team or I don't have a Premier League team. Huh? It's about um, um, I look to the opponent, what we need against such opponent. Now I have to focus me on Newcastle, of Newcastle on West Ham United for Sunday, and then we will uh, yeah, pick the team to start, but also to to have Plan B or Plan C uh, um, in the pocket to to win that game, and that is what we need finally uh, to win games. And therefore, we um, not only need 11 players, we need the whole squad. But that, that with Marcus up front and Bruno behind, two wide players, that has been working well for you. I, I think I, that, that worked well, but uh, I think t uh, tonight, with Cristiano and Marcus in the back, that worked well, as, uh, that worked very well. I, I, was, I was happy that. And I must say also, Donny came in, and in the last part, he had also some good positions. And so in between the lines, and I think also that combination was uh, was good. Paul, you mentioned Donny there, Eric. How pleasing is it that he's back? And what do you want to see from him in the next few weeks? Yeah, he's um, uh, he, he was long out, so um, uh, so I, I was happy to give him some minutes because you need that to get in the right form. Um, but um, yeah, you have to work himself back. He's not. Oh, uh, not even one week in training, same as Harry Maguire. So I was really happy to bring and Donny and Harry to give them minutes, minutes because we need him in the coming weeks. They work, they, with you regularly, he keeps kind of applying himself properly. Oh, when you when you analyze the season so far, um, then uh, if he was available, he should get his chance huh? because we we need goals, and I know Donny. Is real good in the position to score goals, but also is really good in defense transition. Eric, is, is Anthony Marshall likely to play before the season sorted for the World Cup? Oh, I hope, <laughs> but um, he making progress. He is outside and um, he's working there, so he's on the pitch. Um, so we are waiting for his step back in team training. I know you don't look too far ahead, but is it safe to say that next year, given the situation with the attackers, that you wouldn't want to strike? I think at this moment um, we are not focusing on that. In this moment uh, we have to, to work on to develop uh, our team, develop our uh, attacking department, uh, our attacking game. And we have strikers and we have good ones. And now we are working on, on, on progress on that. Uh, last two questions, Simon and Simon. Follow up the Anthony Martial question. You seemed fairly confident a couple of weeks back, I think it was, um, that he would be returning soon. Has there been a setback? What, what exactly is the issue? Yeah, he had a setback as he, he fell out uh, against Everton uh, with his back. And so he had some injuries. It was really frustrating for, for us, um, but also for him. 
<laughs> and we have seen he played good in preseason. Uh, he has really less minutes, but he scored already three goals. He had in Everton, he had a, also an important a role with the first goal, uh, his assist on Anthony. Um, so, yeah, um, yeah, it would be really good to have him back because he can make a difference, he can score goals, but also in linking up, he's really important and the pressing from him is really good. Eric, you, you've spoken a lot about your attacking players. How important is it to get more goals from this team? I've just noticed you've got 16 in the Premier League, Man City have got 36, Arsenal have got 25. Their goal difference is really high. Should you be getting at that level as well with the players that you've got? No, but um, develop a team like, that, yeah, that takes time and you can't go from from uh, zero to 100 and you have to construct it uh, from from downsides for us you need the fundament before you go to the to, to the top to the roof and um, unfortunately it takes time and I don't have time I'm really the most um, impatient uh, but I, I I have to so it's quite clear and now I think we're getting better in uh, defending defending with 11 I think uh, players are more and more aware of it that we have to do it with 11 uh, also our building up I think we improving from game to game so now we have to do also uh, more on uh, our, uh, develop our attacking game but also uh, that's the most uh, difficult part so it takes even more time but uh, uh, you can't um, increase the tempo of that process uh, uh, but I want it but it's, uh, we have to take the time for it uh, what's, what's changed since Manchester City you've had five wins and two defeats is it attitude more than anything First, Man City is, is a really good team, but also we came out of an international break, and in that game, players just for, for, forgot uh, our rules and our principles and our belief. And when you then play against City, and then um, something, uh, one player makes a mistake, then it's like a pack of cards, and it, doesn't, uh, it didn't work. And that we have seen on that night, on, on that day, and then you see also, and then is it massive? Uh, what you what you see, then you get um, uh, good lessons um, for the for the weeks after, and that's also what I said direct after. But you don't want have the experience from such days. Eh? But sometimes, no, I will not. I think some lessons we have learned, but uh, for the future we have to improve a lot to uh, to face such opponents, to face the level for Man City. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Please.